Now that 2024 is here, a lot of players are going to want to use brand new combos in Fortnite. So this is the perfect video for you because today, guys, I'm going to show you the 30 best combos in Fortnite for 2024. This is going to include some try-hard combos, some underrated combos, and we are also going to be using some of the newest items in the game as well. So make sure you guys watch all the way through and let me know what your favorite combo is. But let's get started off in the number 30 position, and we have the Psycho Bandit and the Star Wand. I feel like if you are lucky enough to own the Psycho Bandit, then this is always a combo that you want to use in chapter 5. This is such an amazing skin. I think the Psycho Medit would have to be one of the rarest male skins that we do have in the game as well. This is really only featured in the item shop once and you did have to buy this for around $40. I would love to see more people using this skin and the only way that is going to happen is if Fortnite actually does add this back. The Star Wand seems to be the best pickaxe for this as well. It is the pickaxe that most people are using with this. I would love to see some other people using pickaxes like the Leviathan Axe but again, that is also quite rare. So we just see more people using the Star Wand. If you guys do want to use a combo that a lot more people have been using, then I feel like Valeria and the Axe O is a much better choice. The Valeria skin is part of the latest Battle Pass in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1, and you can pick this up at Tier 100. This is a really cool skin. What makes this so unique, though, is that there is actually an edit style for this. And the only way that you can use this edit style, though, is by using a built-in emote to allow you to transform from one edit style to to the other. This is a really cool option. We have a few other skins that are similar to this, but I just think this is so unique and different to so many other skins in the game. The Axo also fits in with it perfectly. There are just a bunch of skins that you can use with this pickaxe, and that is why I feel like it is so good in Fortnite today. That takes us through to the number 28 position, guys, and if you are looking for a more casual combo, then the Cozy Chomps and the Vision is going to be the best combo for you. Cozy Chomps has actually been in Fortnite for quite a while, but we did recently get a brand new edit style for this this, which makes it a lot better. I personally think this newer edit style is my favorite. It just looks so, so clean and so different to the original style as well. The original style is probably going to be the more popular one out of the two, but honestly, these are some of the most underrated skins that we do have in the game today, and I'd love to see more people using them. We do have phase replays as well that does end up using the comfy chomps quite a bit, but I still think the cozy chomps is a little bit better. There is one skin though that has been a lot more popular in Fortnite, and that is going to be the Reaper, and we are pairing this with the trusty number two. The Reaper was a Battle Pass skin from Chapter 1, Season 3, literally one of the first ever Battle Passes that we had in Fortnite. You had to grind out that season to unlock this skin at Tier 100. It was actually one of the hardest seasons to grind because levels didn't actually work for Battle Pass levels as well. They were two completely different things. I love this skin though. It was basically an unofficial John Wick skin, which was such a cool idea. I love the way this skin looks so much, and since we had Season OG only a few months ago as well, a lot of people did start to use this again. The Trusty Number 2 is a perfect pickaxe for this. It was part of that Battle Pass and was also designed for this as well. But let's move on, guys, to a skin that a lot more tryhard players have been using in Chapter 5. And this is going to be Core, and we are pairing this with Ray's Quarterstaff. Core is honestly one of my favorite skins we have ever seen in Fortnite, but it is just so underrated today. A lot of people were using this when it first came out because it was part of a Battle Pass back during Chapter 2, but I feel like over the last few seasons, a lot of people stopped using it just because it was a Battle Pass skin and they wanted to end up using some of the newer Battle Pass skins in the game. But since we have seen some pros and streamers starting to use Core again, I feel like the popularity has really increased for this. It is definitely one of my favorite skins in the game right now, and there are just so many styles for this, and that is why I feel like Ray's Quarter Staff is going to be a good pickaxe to use. You want to use a pickaxe that is going to fit every single style for that skin. You don't want to use a pickaxe that really only suits one or two different styles and that is why I feel like Ray's Quarter Staff is just the best choice. It also ties in perfectly to our next combo as well because this is Padme and we are pairing this with the Gaffy Stick, which is an entirely Star Wars combo. Now, a lot of you guys might not like these Star Wars skins and think they are some of the worst skins in the game, but we've actually seen a bunch of pros and streamers starting to use these Star Wars skins in Fortnite. I am a huge fan of them. I am obviously a big Star Wars fan, so I've pretty much bought every single Star Wars skin that we do have, but we have actually actually seen a lot of pros and streamers starting to use Padme in the more competitive game modes. I love that so much. I think this skin has such an amazing design to it, and it does have a lot of detail as well. And since it is a Star Wars skin, we just had to pair this with a Star Wars pickaxe. There are some other really good Star Wars skins as well, but I feel like they are just some of the more underrated collab skins that we do have, so we probably won't see too many people using them in Chapter 5. Let's move on though to one of the best combos of all time, and this is Manic, and we're pairing this with 
Michonne's katana. Manic has been in the game since Chapter 1 Season 8, so it is definitely an OG skin in Fortnite now, but it is still one of the best skins that we do have. I feel like it did drop off in popularity during Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. We didn't really see that many people using it in Chapter 4 at all, but now in Chapter 5, the popularity has definitely started to come back for this skin. I really like the way it looks. We have so many edit styles for it as well, so you do want to use a simplistic pickaxe for this, which is why I have ended up going with Michonne's katana for this. I just feel like it is going to fit in with every single style, regardless of if you are using the default edit style, the two red edit styles, or the latest green edit style as well. A Fortnite skin that was added to the game around the same time as this though has to be the Sun Strider, and we are pairing this with the Ol Chopper. I feel like the Sun Strider is definitely one of the more underrated skins in the game, and might actually be a skin that you guys own without even realizing it. It was part of a battle pass back during chapter one. I feel like you could unlock this during season four as well, so it is definitely one of the first ever battle pass skins that we had in the game, and it is one of my all-time favorites. Unfortunately, during the early seasons of chapter one, there weren't really too many skins that were added with edit styles, and that is why we really only have one edit style for all of the night skins that we had in the battle pass, and of course, only one style for the Reaper, and the same goes for the Sun Strider. I feel like if this skin was added later on, we would see more styles for this. That would have been really cool to see some different color variants for this skin as well, but unfortunately, we just never saw them. The old chopper is going to fit in with this really well though, because it does fit in with that red edit style, and that is why I feel like this is going to be one of the best combos for 2024. It probably won't be as try hard as our next combo though, and this is going to be Chani, and we're pairing this with the Vision Pickaxe. This is just one of my all-time favorite combos. I am a huge fan of Chani to the point where I think this is probably my most used skin in Fortnite today. It just looks so, so clean. I love the way it looks, and you can make some very try-hard combos with this. The Vision might not be the best pickaxe for this. You can always swap this out for something like the Leviathan Axe, the Star Wand, or even the Harley Hitter, and they are all going to look really clean, but lately I've actually been using the Vision. I feel like this fits not only try-hard players, but also some of the more casual players and meme players as well, which sort of makes it the perfect pickaxe to use. It does cost 800 V-Bucks, and with only one edit style, I would love to see some more styles for this pickaxe being added, but honestly, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. That takes us, guys, to the number 21 position, and we have Kuno, and we are pairing this with the Scully Scepter. Kuno has been in Fortnite since chapter one. It is an OG skin and definitely one of the more tryhard skins in the game. This is actually known as an exclusive controller only tryhard skin, especially during the early days of chapter one and chapter two. I feel like now in chapter five though, we do see a bunch of people using pretty much every single skin in the game. There aren't really too many skins that are known as controller only skins anymore, but this is still one of the best in the game. But honestly, I feel like the fact that this is known as a controller only skin just made this even better. I love the way it looks. I feel like the new edit style for this as well, which is the Blizzard Buster Kuno just is an improvement on the original design. And the only thing that I don't like about this skin is that we got Incinerator Kuno added as a completely separate skin. If this was added as an edit style of Kuno, then it would be 10 times better. But unfortunately, you do have to buy that as its own individual skin. That takes us though to the number 20 position, guys. And we have The Weekend, and we're pairing this with the Scully Scepter. Now, I want to leave this up to you guys, and you can pick any single style of The Weekend that you want to use for this combo. We have two completely different weekend skins. We have a battle ready or a combat style of the weekend, and then we have a suit and tie edit style as well. The suit and tie style does look really clean. I feel like the red suit just looks so, so sick with this, and you could always swap out the pickaxe for something like the vision, but for the combat edit style that has a black suit style and then a white suit edit style, I feel like the Scully Scepter is going to be the better choice. I think the white combat edit style does look really clean. It's going to make you guys stand out a lot and is definitely a tryhard skin in chapter 5 and it is also quite underrated as well so this is definitely one of the best combos for you guys to start using today. But that takes us guys to the number 19 position and we have the holiday boxy skin and we're pairing this with the old chopper. This is actually one of the newer skins in the game and what makes this even better is that this was a free skin as well. Yes guys you got to unlock holiday boxy completely for free and all you had to do was open Fortnite. No that's not a 
joke. You literally just had to log in and claim a gift and you would get this skin completely for free. I think it is so sick when Fortnite does their Winterfest updates. They always make sure to give out some of the best items for free as well. And that definitely happened with Holiday Boxy. I don't know how try hard this is going to become though. It is really sick though. I love all of the Winterfest skins. So obviously I'm a huge fan of this. The old chopper is just going to fit in with this so well. And it was also a free pickaxe originally in Winterfest, but you can now pick this up for 500 V-Bucks. But since Winterfest skins don't really stay too popular in Fortnite for that long, I feel like we need to move on to our next combo. And this is the Elite Agent. And we're pairing this with the trusty number two. The Elite Agent was added to Fortnite in the same season as the Reaper, back during chapter one, season three. It is definitely one of the best battle pass skins we have ever seen. It gained a lot of popularity back in season OG as well, which really helped this skin. But I feel like now in chapter five, it has started to drop off. I still love the way this looks though. We also got an edit style for this skin added a few seasons after season OG ended, which was so strange to me. I mean, usually a lot of battle pass skins today do get edit styles, but we've never had an edit style for a battle pass skin being added once that season ended. That is just so insane. I love the way this looks and I feel like this is definitely going to be one of the best combos moving forward. One skin that is a little bit more popular today though would have to be Travis Scott and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. For this combo though, instead of using the default edit style of Travis Scott, which every single person seems to use, we are actually going to be going with the Terminator edit style. I personally feel like the Terminator edit style is just a little bit better. It would have to be one of my favorite skins that Fortnite has ever introduced as well, but unfortunately it is also one of the rarest skins we are ever going to see. I mean, this was only available once back during Chapter 2 Season 2. It is never featured in the store again, and it also doesn't feel like it is going to be featured again anytime soon. I love the way this looks though. It is by far one of the most tryhard male skins we are ever going to see, and I feel like if you are lucky enough to own it, you should definitely be using it. The Harley Hitter just fits in with this so perfectly. It is one of the most tryhard collab pickaxes we have in the game as well, and honestly, I feel like it is the best pickaxe for this skin. Let's move on guys to another collab combo, and coming in at the number 16 position, we have 11, and we are pairing this with the Vault Guardian. 11 was one of the more random collab skins that was added to Fortnite. I don't think anyone expected this to be added when it was at the start of Season OG. We have obviously had some Stranger Things items already added to Fortnite back during Chapter 1, but they hadn't been seen in like five years, so I don't think anyone expected them to return. But when Season OG started, we got the original Stranger Things items, and of course, 11 added to the store as well. This was so incredible. We have actually seen a bunch of pros and streamers like Face Sway actually using this in Chapter 5. He has sort of been using the test lab edit style more than the casual clothed version of 11. So I feel like that is going to be the more tryhard edit style, but really both of these skins just look so clean. It's completely up to you on what edit style you want to use, but both of those styles are going to fit in so, so perfectly with this pickaxe. But that takes us to the number 15 position, guys, and we have Glitch, and we're pairing this with the Spectral Axe. Glitch is one of my favorite all-time skins. I feel like what makes this so unique is that we have already had a bunch of highly customizable skins added to Fortnite, but this does it in a way like we have never seen before. You can actually customize this skin's design with a few different colors and, of course, change around the hair color on this skin as well. But what Glitch does differently to all of the other highly customizable skins in Fortnite is that this actually allows you to change around the color of this with different camos in your locker. We don't really have too many other skins like this. I feel like it is such a unique take on highly customizable skins, and it is definitely one of the reasons why I think this is so good today. I would love to see more people using it. I feel like just because these superhero skins are so popular, this never really gets the popularity that it deserves, but it has actually been featuring in the store a lot more lately, and a few pros and streamers have also been using it as well. I feel like we've talked about so many tryhard combos on this list. Let's talk about a little bit more of a casual combo, and this is going to be Invincible, and we're pairing this with the Slasher. It is hard to go past Invincible as one of the best collab skins we have in the game, and this is definitely one of the best anime skins that we do have as well. I feel like a lot of anime skins that have been added to Fortnite do stay quite popular for a few weeks and then die down very, very quickly, but that sort of seems to have changed with Invincible. We also got Omni-Man and Atom Eve added to the game with this collab. I think both of them are so, so sick, but what makes this even better is that Invincible just looks so different to a lot of the other anime skins. The only bad thing about this collab was that we really didn't get too many pickaxes that fit in with this perfectly. I feel like Fortnite could have made this collab a lot better if we did get pickaxes that were designed specifically for these skins, but still, I'm a huge fan of them, and Invincible 
Invincible and the Slasher Pickaxe is definitely going to be one of my main combos moving forward. If you guys do want to use a combo that has been a lot more tryhard though and also quite underrated, then I feel like the Frozen Nog Ops and the Candy Axe might be a better choice. This is actually going to be one of the best Winterfest combos we ever see being added to Fortnite. I feel like a lot of Winterfest combos gain a lot of popularity for a few weeks in December and then die down very, very quickly in January. So chances are by the time you guys are watching this video, you probably won't see too many people using this skin. I'm still a huge fan of this though. I feel like the Frozen Nog Ops is one of the most underrated skins we have in the game. We obviously have the Nog Ops skin as well, which is quite good, but Frozen Nog Ops to me is just on a whole nother level. Obviously, the Candy Axe is going to fit this perfectly. It was literally designed to be used with a Winterfest skin, and it's hard to find a Winterfest skin that is better than the Frozen Nog Ops. Let's move on, the guys, to the number 12 position, and we have Omni Man, and we are pairing this with the Rihanna Man Armor Pickaxe. Omni Man is probably the better skin from the Invincible collab. I feel like the original Invincible skin was quite popular during the first few days, but now that it has been out for a while, I feel like Omni Man is definitely the better one. I love the way this skin looks, it is just so, so sick, and definitely one of the best anime skins we are ever going to see. I feel like the only thing that is holding this back again is that we didn't see a pickaxe specifically designed for Omni Man. Obviously, the Rihanna Man arm is really clean, but it just doesn't fit in with this perfectly like it would have if we had a specifically designed pickaxe for this. With it being an anime themed skin as well, chances are you guys do want to use an anime pickaxe with this, and we just don't really have too many good anime pickaxes in Fortnite today. Let's move on though, guys, to one of the best combos on this list, and this is the Agency Renegades bundle, and we're pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. Now, what we are doing for this combo is including both Spy Catcher Siren and Shady Zadie for this. Both of these are so, so sick. We did get a third skin in this bundle as well, but I've never seen anyone using that, so we're not even going to mention it. We have actually started to see some pros and streamers using Spycatcher Siren, especially over the last few weeks, including Booga. And since Booga is known as one of the best players in the world, if he starts using a skin a lot, it's going to start gaining popularity, and I feel like that is exactly what's going to happen with the Agency Renegades bundle. It does surge back quite a bit, coming in at around 20 $20, but honestly, I feel like it is so worth it, and the Leviathan Axe is going to work with every single style in this bundle. Let's move on, though, guys, to the number 10 position, and we have April O'Neil, and we're pairing this with the Banana Splitter. April O'Neil was just added to the game a few weeks ago, and this was included with all of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle skins. This was such a cool collab. I really like the way this looked, and of course, we did also get some map changes as well in order to celebrate this collab properly. I feel like April O'Neil has been one of the more popular skins from this. It has definitely been the tryhard one as well, and this is the best skin for you guys to use from this collab. The Banana Splitter is going to fit in with the color theme of this combo. There might be some more tryhard pickaxes that you could end up using with this, but honestly, I feel like the Banana Splitter is just such an amazing pickaxe. Let's move on though to a really big theme combo, and this is going to be Peter Griffin, and we are pairing this with the Scratch Art Pickaxe. We just had to include Peter Griffin on the list. It has been one of the best skins Fortnite has ever introduced, and also one of the more unexpected skins as well. I never expected Peter Griffin to be added to Fortnite. It was rumored in Fortnite for such a long time, and I feel like eventually I just expected that Fortnite had decided not to collab with Family Guy. However, though, it was finally added to the game, and this does not disappoint at all. This skin looks absolutely incredible, and the Scratcher Pickaxe is so perfect for this as well. Usually, I do like to pair new skins with different pickaxes. I don't want to pair them with the pickaxes that they were designed for, but with Peter Griffin, it is a little bit different. There aren't really that many skins that are going to fit in with this perfectly, so we had to go with the Scratcher. I would love to see some more Family Guy skins being added over the next few weeks as well. I feel like Quagmire and maybe the Chicken would look really sick, so hopefully that is something that does get added. That takes us through to the number 8 position, guys, and we have Caper, and we are pairing this with Leon's Combat 9. This is one of the most try-hard combos in the game, and that isn't going to change in 2024. Caper is one of the most highly customizable skins as well. What is really cool about this though is you can actually change around so many different aspects of this skin. Not only can you add different headpieces to this like bunny ears, you can also change the color of these and the color of the jumpsuit on this skin. You can also add emojis and stickers to create a more unique edit style, which is just so, so sick. I love this so much and it would have to be one of my favorite skins. Because it is so highly customizable though, you do want to use a pickaxe that is really simplistic and that is why I feel like Leon's Combat Knife is the best choice. And also what makes this so much better is that this pickaxe
packs only cost 500 B bucks. Let's move on, the guys, to the next combo, and this is going to be Explorer Emily, and we're pairing this with the Banana Splitter. Explorer Emily was a free skin in Fortnite, and all you had to do to get this was link your Lego account to your Fortnite account. This was such a cool collab. Obviously, the Lego game mode in Fortnite has been so popular, so it is really cool to see this finally coming to life in Fortnite. It was rumored for such a long time and definitely changes around the game in a way that we have never seen before. To celebrate this, Fortnite added in some free cosmetics. I think this skin was really sick. We probably won't see it becoming a tryhard skin in the future, but it just looks really clean, and I'm a huge fan of this right now. The banana splitter just fits in with the color theme of this as well, which is really sick, but there are definitely some better combos on this list, and one of the next ones is easily one of my favorites, and this is Lustrous Lux, and we're pairing this with the Gold Crow. The Lustrous Lux was just added to the game with the Gilded Elite Bundle. This has only really been in the game for a few weeks. It is one of my favorite combos already, though, because I think this skin looks incredible. In the Gilded Elites bundle, you do get three different skins. We obviously have the Lustrous Lux. You do get Gunslinger Calamity as well, and there is another Goldfish skin, which is really clean. I feel like the first two are definitely going to be tryhard. The Goldfish could easily be a really big meme combo, but I still absolutely love the way this looks. It is such an amazing skin, and this pickaxe is going to fit in with the gold theme of this combo so perfectly. If you do want to use an older skin that has definitely been more tryhard, then I feel like Siren and the Cold Snap is going to be one of the more tryhard ones. Siren has just been one of the best Fortnite skins in the history of the game, and what makes this even better is that we just got a brand new edit style for this in Chapter 5. I've been asking for an edit style for such a long time, now that it is finally here, it did not disappoint. This looks like it was an edit style specifically designed for the racing game mode, which is so, so sick. I love the way this looks. I feel like there are definitely some other edit styles that could have been added that would also make this skin even better. But now that Fortnite realizes how popular this skin is and that we are actually getting edit styles, I honestly feel like there is a high chance that we will see even more styles added in the future. The Cold Snap is going to fit in with this really, really well, but you could always use something like the Leviathan Axe on this as well. Let's move on, guys, to the number four position, and we have Lara Croft, and we are pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. Lara Croft would have to be one of the best Battle Pass skins in the history of the game. We do have four different edit styles for this skin as well. We have a default edit style, we have two green PlayStation edit styles, and a fully golden style as well. In my opinion, the default style is the best, followed by the fully golden edit style. These seem to be the most popular ones as well, and what most people do end up using in the more tryhard game modes. What makes Lara Croft so unique though is that it wasn't really that popular when it first got added to the game. It actually started to gain popularity after that season, which is so insane and something that we have never seen before. One of the only Battle Pass skins in Fortnite that has been better than this would have to be Hope, and we are pairing this with the Vault Guardian. I feel like Hope is just a little bit better at the moment moment, it is also one of the newest Battle Pass skins in the game, which is probably why I feel like it is a little bit better. You can unlock this at tier 1, which is so sick. I love the way this looks so, so much, and I definitely feel like this could be a tryhard skin moving forward in 2024. There are a bunch of edit styles for this as well, which just make this skin even better. And obviously, since this just has so many edit styles, it's worth using a pickaxe that is quite simplistic, which is why the Vault Guardian is going to be perfect for this. It probably isn't good enough to be one of the best combos in Fortnite right now though, just because it is so new, so I feel like we need to include the superhero skins and of course the Harley hitter on this list as well. The superhero skins have been in Fortnite since Chapter 2 Season 4. They are quite expensive, coming in at 1,800 V-Bucks, but they are known as the most tryhard and probably the most popular skins in the game as well. You can just customize them in so many different ways. You can really create some amazing styles for them, and the only thing that I would change about these skins is that I do want people to use some more random edit styles for them. We see a lot of people using the fully white, the fully gray, or the fully black edit styles of the superhero skins, but no one is really using bright and colorful edit styles for them, which is what I feel like they were originally designed for. If I had to pick my favorite combo for 2024 though, guys, we're going with Reverie, and I'm pairing this with the Star Wand. Now, I don't know how long this combo is going to be popular for. It is part of the Starter Pack bundle in Chapter 5 Season 1, which means that you can actually get 
get this skin for $4. It is such an amazing skin for such a cheap price. You do also get some V-Bucks with this as well, which I feel like definitely makes it worth it. And the Star Wand is going to fit in with the color theme of this combo absolutely perfectly. There are two different styles for this, but basically it is just having the hat on or off. I feel like they could have added in some different color variations, but that actually might be something that they do add in the future. We've had a bunch of amazing skins added to the game in Chapter 5, but this is without a doubt one of my favorites so far. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That is my entire video talking about 30 combos you need to use in 2024. And of course, make sure to click on the video on your screen now.